already hosses. So now what I want to do is show you guys how to apply gravity to these objects. So whenever we run this, these actually look like they're falling to the ground and uh, yeah, a little more like you'd expect. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create an instance of a UI dynamic animator class. And whenever we have this object, that's the object that allows you to apply physics like animations to whatever objects that you want. So I'm just gonna call mine animator. And of course it's an instance of UI dynamic animator. Looking good. All right, why am I getting an error? All right. So again, whenever we initialize this, what we need to say is this, the animator that we just created, it's equal to UI dynamic animator. And for, why didn't that pop up? All right, throw these parameters in myself. For the reference view, it's just this classes view. So what we're basically saying is we want to apply physics like, like animations to this screen right here. Simple enough. So now once we got that taken care of, we can go ahead and start adding those behaviors. Now there are a bunch of different ones that you can add. One of the most common ones is gravity and that's the one I'm going to show you guys. But in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys like collision detection and some other ones later on. But for right now, we'll just say, we'll just learn how to use gravity. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a UI gravity behavior. And what this says is, okay, you want to apply gravity like behavior to which items? Well, the items, and you can toss any objects you want in here, but apparently not since it's not letting me delete it. All right, so inside brackets, what objects are named? Green square and red square. So now it's saying, okay, green square and red square are going to be affected whenever we have gravity on a view. Simple enough. Now. Before we just say, okay, run this, it's good to go. We need to kind of set up the gravity because your computer, your iPhone, it's just, you know, a bunch of electrons. It doesn't understand gravity the way that we understand it because whenever we like are just living life, we know that gravity is always pointing down towards our feet unless we're like hanging upside down, but your phone doesn't really understand that. So what you need to do is you need to first give it a direction. And in other words, you need to make a vector that most of the time it's gonna to point to the bottom of your iPhone screen. So I'll just say let direction equal CG vector. And the parameters for this are say 0, 0, 001.0. 0. So again, the first one is the X direction, which we're not gonna change, it's not gonna go left and right at all, and we'll put it one in the Y direction. So now this vector is gonna be pointing down. So that's all that does. So now, I actually need to call vector make, and there you go, there you see the parameters. So it takes two floats, the X direction and the Y direction, and if I just copy this, Paste that bad boy right in there. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to say, okay, on that gravity that we're creating, we want to set the gravity direction equal to that vector and that vector is called direction. So now the property that this is supposed to point is down. So I know it's kind of weird and you think, all right, it's probably was like that by default, but you have to do it manually, manually. kind of stupid, but whatever. So now we have our gravity set up. The only other thing that we need to do is we need to say this animator, which is responsible for animating things on your screen, we're gonna add that gravity behavior to it because check it out, we built the gravity and we built the animator, but we didn't link them up yet. So one line of code, animator, add behavior. What behavior? Well, that gravity that we just built. And since the green square and the red square, we said are going to be affected by gravity, 
and this view has gravity, check out what happens whenever you run it. Boom, falls down. Now you're like, okay, uh, where did they go? Like down here somewhere? Well, of course, what we did is we just made gravity and it said point down, but we didn't add any collision detection. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to say, okay, let me run this one more time. Treat this as the bottom of the screen. So whenever they hit it, they don't go right through to, I don't know, they're probably like 10 feet away from my iMac right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Learn how to use collision detection to get the boundaries of the screen. It's gonna be awesome. See you then.